The new groups functionality in Modo can also be leveraged when working with replicators. Let's add some water droplets to this bottle with a single replicator item. First we'll switch to layout and we'll see that we have several different mesh presets for water drops. I'll just double click on each one of these. That's going to add them to the scene at the origin. You can see they've now been added to our item list here. And so we'll switch to our groups viewport, create a new group, and we'll call that group drops. Now we'll go ahead and select all of those drops and drag them into the drops group. Next thing we need to do is add a replicator. And in the replicator's preferences or properties, set the prototype to the group called drops. And for now, we'll set the point source to the water bottle. Now you can see that the droplets are all applied to the various vertices on the bottle. Let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to select all of our water drops and make sure that their materials are under the base shader so we get a nice transparency. And for the plastic bottle, if we just click on the green here, you can see there's the plastic bottle material. So we will add a surface generator. And now, if we go to the replicator item, we can change the point source to the surface generator. And now it's going to randomly choose between the different sources in the drops group and apply that to the bottle. The next thing we need to do are just change some of the settings here. The average spacing, it's a very small bottle, so let's set that down to 5 millimeters. And now you can see our bottle is covered with condensation. If we zoom in here, you can see the density that's applied. And now you get a nice random variation between the different drops. If we want to continue to change the or randomize the effect, we can also go in and add a little bit of a random twist to each one of the droplets. So you can see using groups to feed the replicator item. Very nice way to add detail to a scene inside of Moto 401.